Hello guys, Nato Ace here and I want to give my thoughts on the recent Nintendo Mobile Games announcement and that is, believe it or not, Side Games basically made a decision that in 2022, Dragalia Log is going to be shut down. Yes, folks, Lost Dragalia. And for some people don't know what this game is, it's one of their original Nintendo IP for mobile games. It's actually a fun game, I've been playing it. The only downside for me that my complaint is that the lack of integration with my Nintendo, I've been talking about that before. Mario Kart Tour, Dr. Mario World, of course now Lost Dragalia. Do you might say, what about Pikmin Blue? Well, sure, but to some extent, well, it's the attic, probably it's a different company. I don't know, maybe I should too. So. But that's a different story there. So, yeah. So, for some who does follow Dragalia Lost, you're going to say, wait a minute. Wasn't this game made a lot of money? So, why are they shutting it down? Well, there's a lot of theory, I can guess. Uh, I did listen to some people, their theory is, and they even don't know. Because this game actually made a lot of money. It was popular. Not so much popular than Fire Emblem Heroes. But it is popular enough. But there have been stories that I think in 2021, side games actually did say that starting in 2022 that all the updates all the new content is going to be slowing down to the extreme and now they're saying that in 2022 they're really going to be slowing down to a point that the game will be shut down and that on july of 2022 the final chapter chapter 26 will be the last one and the conclusion of the whole main story for this game so my thoughts about that kind of surprised it to some extent and a bit disappointed because it's not really a bad game for a mobile game but there is a lot of uh, problematic to some extent for this game and I'll explain that later unless you're an uber mobile hardcore gamer then you know what I'm talking about here so first kind of weird why so one of my theory is would be that the interaction with this game yeah it may be good it may be fun but to some extent the longer the game comes out, some people will start getting bored and just start moving on. Commenting in any game, fight a game, RPG, MMORPG, strategy, whatever. Let's just say that once you finish a game, do you actually go back? To some extent, probably not. Well, what about DLC? Yeah, to some extent, then once that DLC is done, are you going to go back to the game? Unless you really like that game to the extreme, you're probably not going to go back. I just finished. Pokemon Legend Arceus and Lost Judgment within the first two months in 2022 and now I'm done like am I gonna go back to Lost Judgment probably not so much same goes with Pokemon Arceus unless you have a big major update I mean granted the Pokemon capturing a lot of new Pokemon in that game fine but to some extent I got a lot of games I need to focus and I want to play so I'm here for the story right now by the time of this recording, I am trying to finish Shimune 1. I'm almost done with that one. I'm going to Shimune 2 on my PS4. Yeah, because of the anime, it makes me say, why not play the Shimune game? So, teaser on my third channel, the extended channel, there might be some Shimune gameplay. But again, that's a different story there. I know shame and plan. Okay, back to Dragalia Law. So, probably the interaction, the activity behind it, is just starting to slow down. They're moving on. That's one. Second also, like I said, is some people probably, oh, it's a mobile game. I mean, that's a given. But for some, probably kind of bum out, including myself, that the lack of my Nintendo integration. I mean, granted, they finally did it with the Switch, but again, the story there, better late than ever. Dr. Mario World had that same problem. No, my Nintendo integration. And a lot of people didn't really have fun. The game wasn't really that fun to some extent. It was kind of weird. I did talk about that, so links in the description box for that video so that probably people kind of like yeah well, i don't want to play it unless i get some platinum coins again there's been already reports that nintendo is probably starting to pull away to the mobile game it was a short business that they did only to help them make money and help expose about nintendo makes sense so the problem is the managerial system in this game Unless you're a hardcore Dragalia Lost or you understand mobile gaming, especially freemium game, it's hard to upgrade your characters, your weapon, whatever. 
build up your party, whatever, because you need to buy material, you gotta build this material. There's a lot of things to do. I mean, credit to side games to basically making it easier with a V update, but still, I'm not gonna lie, it is still hard, but that's another problem. A lot of managerial system you have to do this game. A lot of times, a lot of people, they just wanna get into the game, play it, they don't need to equip my armor, build up my character, make the weapon, whatever. Unless you're a hardcore JRPG like myself, then you're probably gonna be like, yeah, I'm not gonna do this. Another one, and this one is probably the common one, is the later levels, whether it's the main campaign or some optional mode, is very difficult because the idea is, the assumption is that you already got your stuff, you already started the game, you already got some material, you're supposed to be more powerful. That's a problem there. So, yeah, I mean, even side game said they admitted it that it was very difficult, but to some extent, that's what a free to play game is. That's what a freemium. Remember, this is a free to play. So, you put in money if you want to finish the game faster. It is what it is there. So, that's why for me personally, I knew when it's a free to play that it's going to get harder unless you pay to make it easy for yourself. This is what's going to happen. So, that's what a lot of complaints. A lot of the most people can't even do because it was just too hard. It was unbalanced. Side game trying to fix it, but again, you know, they're trying to fix it. Well, it's a free to play game. We gotta have people give reason to put in money. So, I mean, that's what it is. Right now, I'm trying to work on the later levels, and I can tell you right now, I'm having a hard time because my party's probably under level, underpowered, but that's how it goes. It's, again, you gotta put the money, you gotta spend the time. Unless you're a hardcore mobile player and you only play mobile game or you're a Dragalia lost player, you're not gonna put a lot of time here. Again, that's the problem. So that's probably some of my tier of why side games and you know what, push him to shove. We did what we did, we made some money out of this. Uh, people are not playing this much anymore. It's time to just shut it down by the end of 2022, apparently. So yeah, uh, again, it is an unfortunate, but can figure out that a lot of times, a lot of these mobile games, this is what happened, when there's not a lot of interaction, there's not a lot of money putting in, and you're just doing the freemium, to some extent they might say, well, we're not making a lot of money in this game anymore, we're done, let's move on. They could probably use that money for something else, maybe, let's see, Grand Blue Fantasy, finally in the West, rather than using the Japanese servers, but that's what they're doing right now, uh, Maybe finally, there's also Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which is their console version of an action RPG. I don't know what it is. Yeah, and of course, you have that fighting game right now. I think to some extent, they're done supporting that game. They're done what it is. They're not doing anything new about it. Who knows? And I doubt it they're going to do a sequel for that game, but again, it is what it is there, so who knows? <laughs> And of course, there's also Shadowverse they're doing. That's another side game, games. But again, yeah. So, unfortunately, it is a bum out. It sucked. This game actually made a lot of money. It is popular. The lack of my Nintendo integration probably turned off some people. And the difficulty spike, definitely. But again, that's what mobile games are. It's a common thing. So, it is unfortunate. But again, to some extent, it's a business. It is what it is. So, those are my thoughts on Lost Regalia. Uh, kind of surprised for a game that makes a lot of money, but I think they would just say, you know what, we'd rather just use that resource to something new or improve something else. Just saying that. So with that, I'll see you guys later.